assalamu alaikum class in this lecture we will discuss the unit output method of depreciation and also compare unit output method with other depreciation methods uh, please note that we covered the straight line and declining balance methods of depreciation in our previous lecture lecture number 2 so what is unit output method this method is particularly useful when the wear and tear of an asset is more closely related to its usage rather than the passage of time here usage means the usage may be either in units or the miles or even hours this depend on the type of the fixed asset so how does this methods work the unit output method calculate depreciation based on the actual usage or output of the asset to put it simple the more the asset is used the more the depreciation is charge you can see uh, depreciation will be calculated into two steps uh, first of all we will have to calculate depreciation per unit consumed and the formula is cost minus residual value divided by total estimated uh, production in units so first we will calculate depreciation per unit consume uh, the unit consume may be as i have already discussed it may be in number of hours it may be in miles like in the case of vehicles or it may be in the units like uh, in the case of plant or machinery so after calculating depreciation cost per unit consume we will calculate yearly depreciation and yearly depreciation can be calculated by multiplying depreciation per unit consumed by uh, or into units consumed in a year so we will work through practice questions from book financial and managerial accounting by william zaka betner which is also known as um, meeks accounting so let's get started and i am sharing with you the excel sheet so here it is the excel sheet and we will cover brief exercise 9.5 in 9.5 the cost of the truck is given and the truck is expected to be driven 15000 miles per year over a 5 year period and then sold for approximately uh $5000 so determine depreciation for the first year of the truck useful life by straight line method as well as unit output method is if the truck is actually driving 16000 miles so residual value is given uh, cost is given and we have two different method first of all straight line method and we have discussed in the previous uh, lecture yearly depreciation would be cost minus accumulated depreciation cost is 35000 uh, sorry cost minus uh, residual value residual value is 5000 here it is given 5000 and then divide by useful life useful life is 5 year period so divide by 5 so annual depreciation would be 6000 per year
So this is a straight line method and depreciation. I'm going to highlight it 6,000 per year. The other depreciation, only first year depreciation is required. Other me uh, method is unit output method. And I have just discussed that. First of all, we will have to calculate depreciation cost, depreciation cost per unit. And we take cost minus residual value or salvage value. Now, we are going to divide it by total number of units. Here, in this case, uh, the usage or units are given in the miles. 15,000 miles per year over a five-year life. So, total usage would be 15,000 per year. And how many years are total? Five. So, we will multiply it by five. So, per miles depreciation cost would be 0 0.4 or you can say 0.4 dollar per mile. Now depreciation expense year 1 would be now we are going to multiply this uh, per unit cost of depreciation into total number of miles in year one. So in year one, 16,000 miles are given. So we are going to multiply 0.4 by 16,000, which would be, here you can see, it would be 6,400. So depreciation, annual depreciation under straight line method is 6,000 per year, whereas annual uh, depreciation expense or annual depreciation in year one is 6,400, whereas straight line by 6,000. So in straight line method, this 6,000 remains constant throughout the life of the asset, means four, uh, five years, whereas this um, uh, 6,400 is just for one year. Uh, the other years depend on the miles, basically miles driven each year. But this per uh, mile cost would remain same throughout the uh, life of the asset. The next is brief exercise 9.10. In 9.10, again, uh, we will have to compare two different methods. Uh, definitely, one would be the unit output method. And the data we have, the cost of the truck is given 30,500. Uh, and uh, he is considering to charge depreciation under two methods. One is unit output method and, uh, and other is double declining balance method. So uh, under both of the method, um, depreciation is required. And this depreciation is required, I think, for uh, year for uh, one year, first year depreciation is required. It means only one year depreciation is required. So total miles driven of 80,000. So total miles are given. And in uh, under double declining method, five year life is given. The truck is expected to be sold for approximately 6,500 at the end of the useful life. So this 6,500 represent residual value. So residual value is also given. Then prepare a comparison of the first year depreciation under each of these methods. And uh, first year, uh, how many miles are dri driven? Uh, 10,000 miles are driven. Briefly state 
uh, why the difference between two is so great. So let's see what is the difference uh, in the depreciation expense under each of the method. First, we are going to use unit output method. Unit output method. And for unit output method, we will have to calculate depreciation cost per mile, or you can say per unit. So uh, the method is we deduct, first of all, residual value from cost, which is residual value is given 6,500. And then this depreciable cost will be divided by the total number of miles driven by that tr uh, truck, so which is 80,000. So depreci depreciation cost per mile or per unit will be 0 0.3 per mile. First year depreciation, first year depreciation, we will multiply this 0 0.3 by the number of miles driven in year one, which is 10,000. So multiply by 10,000. So depreciation would be $3,000 per year or we can represent it in dollar 3000 year one. So this is your depreciation under unit output method. Other method is declining, double declining balance method. So under double declining balance method, first we will have to calculate the um, declining balance rate. And as this method is double declining, so we will multiply that rate by two. So we are going to calculate the rate and um, which is which can be calculated by this way, 100% divide by life. We have discussed this method in our lecture number two. Uh, so uh, life is 100% and life is how many years? Uh, mm, years are given five years. I think it was, yes, this one. Assuming a five year useful life. So divide by five. So the rate would be 20%. Uh, if just declining balance method was used, but here the word double is written, so we will multiply this rate by 2, which would be 40%. So double declining balance rate is 40%. Now we are going to calculate uh, under, the, here we have depreciation, depreciation expense, other column is accumulated. Uh, depreciation. So year one and the uh, declining balance method. In declining balance method, we start uh, by cost, which is thirty thousand five hundred. In order to calculate depreciation expense first year, we multiply cost by double declining rate, which is forty percent. So depreciation is 12,200. So here depreciation is 12,200. When we deduct this 12,200, we will get the difference. The difference is 12,200 minus 3,000. So depreciation under Reducing balance or declining balance, in fact, double declining balance method is $9,200 higher as compared to the unit output method. Why this the difference is uh, so large or so big? Because if the car total 
miles are 80,000, whereas in just one year, only 10,000 miles are driven. So you can say the usage is very less in year one. Whereas in double declining balance method, as we have discussed, uh, already discussed that declining balance method is the method which is most commonly used when the usage of that assets are uh, very higher uh, in the earlier years. Uh, means in the earlier years, we use asset more as compared to uh, the later years. So that's why this depreciation under double declining balance method is so high as compared to the um, this method, as compared to the unit output method. So the next we are going to cover next exercise is uh, 9.13. So 9.13 exercise, this one. So the data, basically it has, uh, during the current year airport auto rental purchase, 60 new automobiles at a cost of 14,000 per car. So the to to total cost is 14,000 per car. The cars will be sold at estimated 5,000. This 5,000 basically represent the residual value or the salvage value. And uh, each as soon as they have been driving, and these these are the total miles a car uh, can be drive in its whole life. So 50,000 50, miles are total uh, miles in case of unit output methods. Uh, so the company compute depreciation on the basis of unit output method. Uh, requirement one is compute the amount of depreciation each mile that a rental mobile is driven. Uh, depreciation is required per car under the unit output method. So requirement number one, first of all, we will have to calculate depreciation ca uh, per mile. So depreciation. depreciation cost per mile and the formula is we have cost which is 14,000 minus residual value which is 5,000 divided by total life in miles which is 50,000. So here the answer is dollar 0 0.18 per mile. This is the depreciation cost per mile. The answer of requirement number A. The, in requirement number B, assume that the 60 rental cars are driven a total of 1770 means um, total 1.770 million miles during the current year. So depreciation expense is required for the first year. So now we are going to calculate depreciation expense. And depreciation expense cost per mile is just, we have just calculated 0 0.18. Now we are going to multiply it by the total miles driving during the current year, which is 1.770 million. So the depreciation expense is this one. Total depreciation expense is 
थ्री वन एट सिक्स डबल जीरो और यू कैन से थ्री लैख एटीन थाउजेंड एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड डॉलर The next requirement, requirement number C. Uh, do you believe that unit output method of depreciation achieve a better matching of expenses with revenue than the straight line method? Yes, of course. Why not? Because, uh, you know, uh, in this unit output method, we calculate depreciation expense. on uh, the number of miles driven by the car so you can say yes this is this uh, unit output method is directly related to the um, matching principle uh, the unit uh, output method basically recognizes more depreciation in periods in which the cars are driving more which means that the cars are generating more revenue so uh, this is uh, exactly uh, what the matching principle is whereas in case of the straight line method straight line method would recognize the same or the even amount or the constant amount of depreciation expense regardless of how much the automobiles or cars are driving so uh, the answer is yes because um, we have discussed that unit output method is uh, much um, similar or uh, or giving a much realistic expense uh, based on the uh, method so the next and the last exercise we are going to cover in this lecture is 9.14 uh, and the data is given total uh, cost is given total cost of the car is given and then a truck is expected 5 years ye life is given total a uh, life in miles is given and then uh, this is the expected value after the end of the useful life which is called residual value or salvage value the first requirement is to calculate the depreciation amount of the first year uh, first two years and first two years based on the um, method which is called unit output method so we, we are going to calculate uh, depreciation expense first of all what is required for uh, depreciation cost per miles so per mile is uh, required and the method is cost minus cost is uh, 25500 minus residual value which is 4500 divided by life in the number of units or which are 18000 miles so this is cost per mile 18000 miles per year so if it is per year then there is a need to multiply it by 5 by 5 here so the answer is 0.2333 dollars per mile here it is per mile so requirement number a is depreciation expense year 1 and year 2 depreciation expense year 1 year 2 now if we see uh, the miles driven first year is 16000 and second year is 18200 so first year 
So we are going to multiply this 16,000 by cost per mile, which we have calculated uh, 0 0.2333. So this is the depreciation. First year, second year depreciation is 18,000 miles are driven in the first year, multiply by 0 0.233, three, which is 42,046. And if we add total depreciation, so total depreciation would be uh, 79, uh, 797. So, This is 18,000 miles per, okay. No, this is 18,200. Second year, it is 18,200. So why this answer, 18,200? Okay. The second requirement is how does the amount of accumulated depreciation at the end of the year compare with? Okay, so comparison with the straight line method is required. So we, first of all, we, uh, we are going to calculate depreciation expense under straight line method, which is cost. Cost is 25500 minus accumulated 4500. Divide by useful life, which is in years. And how many years? Life is five years. Divide by five. So annual depreciation is 4,200. So two years depreciation. Again, first, first year depreciation. Year one, year two, as the method says, a straight line. So both of the year, the method of uh, the amount of depreciation remains same, which is 8,400. So collectively, two years accumulated depreciation is 8,400, 8, whereas in case of uh, a unit output method, it is 78, uh, 79, 79. You can say if we round out this 0.9. So what is the difference between two methods? Difference in the amount is 8,400 minus 79, 79. So depreciation is 421 total. Uh, the difference uh, amount is four hundred and twenty one dollar. So how does the amount of accumulated the difference is re required uh, among these two methods? The difference is this one. So that's it from this lecture. Take care class.